Hey, it's you guys again. Hi, Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here back with more of this Chevy Trucks Blazer demonstration tape from 1995. We're going to be playing side two now because we got done of side one. So I just put the tape in and now it's time to play the tape. Here it is, right here. Side two, radio controls. This side of the program discusses trailering tips, special options, and optional sound systems you may have purchased to customize your new blazer. There will be a few seconds of silence between each selection. Child restraint procedures. For the safety of children and infants traveling in your vehicle, you should always secure them in an infant or child seat restraint according to applicable laws. The information or instructions included with the infant or child seat will specify whether it should be used with an infant or an older child. With General Motors truck safety belts, there is no additional equipment necessary to secure the child or infant seat restraint in your vehicle unless the restraint requires a top anchor as specified by the restraint installation instructions. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for the installation of the infant or child seat and be sure to pull the shoulder belt all the way out of the retractor to set the lock. Child seat restraints that have a top strap should be placed in a rear outside seat position. The top strap can then be secured to the rear tie-down brackets in the cargo area. For complete information on installing the child or infant restraint system in your vehicle, be sure to read section 1 of your owner's manual. This information is of vital importance for the safety of you and your passengers. Off-road driving. For the safety of both you and your passengers, please drive your blazer carefully both on and off-road. Two important factors to keep in mind when off-roading are that you and your passengers must always wear your safety belts, and you should always drive on marked trails only. Also, make sure that the loads that you're carrying are properly secured to prevent them from moving when the terrain gets rough. For more information on off-roading safety tips and driving procedures, be sure to read section 4 in your owner's manual. There's some noise there. Oh, and the music's different too, don't forget that. ...designed to carry people and cargo. But bear in mind that towing a trailer and or carrying cargo will affect handling, durability, and fuel economy. The certification label is on the driver's door lock pillar. This label offers information on maximum gross vehicle weight, maximum gross axle weights your vehicle can safely handle, and recommended tire inflation pressures. The maximum loaded trailer weight your vehicle can tow depends upon the total weight of the vehicle, including passengers, cargo, and additional options purchased. Your Blazer comes with a 5-lead trailering harness taped and bundled in the left corner of the vehicle. The harness has no connector. If you'd like to have one installed, you should have a qualified service person wire your harness for you. To learn more about the trailering aspects of your Blazer, your Chevy dealer can supply you with product literature which includes trailering tips and cautions, and can assist you in determining that your needs don't exceed the load or trailering capabilities of your new Blazer. Four-wheel drive. With four-wheel drive, you'll be able to keep your vehicle moving through a wide variety of road conditions. However, you should avoid driving on dry pavement while in four-wheel drive. Driving with four wheels engaged on dry pavement will increase tire wear, cause hard transfer case shifting, and reduce fuel economy. If you have a manual Instatrack system, you can shift from two-wheel drive to four-high, or from four-high back to two-wheel drive while the vehicle is moving without pressing the transfer case shift lever button. The front axle portion of the diagram on the transfer case shift console will light up when you shift into a four-wheel drive mode. And remember that it's normal for the front axle light to come on or go off shortly after shifting into or out of a four-wheel drive mode. However, if the front axle light does not come on after shifting into a four-wheel drive mode, or the light stays on after shifting out of a four-wheel drive mode, see your authorized Chevrolet dealer for a system check. To shift a vehicle with a manual Instatrack system into or out of four low or neutral, vehicle speed must be below three miles per hour. To begin this process, 
Place the transmission in neutral with an automatic transmission or depress the clutch with a manual transmission. Then press the transfer case shift button on the shifter lever and shift with one continuous motion. Don't pause in the neutral range of the transfer case when shifting into four low, as this could result in some gear clash. And keep in mind that the neutral position of your Instatrack system should only be used if the vehicle is being towed. Refer to sections four and five of the owner's manual for additional information on towing your blazer. If your blazer is equipped with the electronic transfer case, shifting from two-wheel drive to four high or four low is as easy as pushing a button on your instrument panel and following some simple procedures. The transfer case switches are located on the right side of your instrument panel above the radio controls. Amber indicator lights in the switches show which setting you are in. When shifting, an indicator light will flash until the shift is completed, then remain solidly lit. You can shift in and out of four high at any speed. To shift from two high or four high into four low, you must be stopped or be moving less than three miles per hour with the transmission in neutral on automatic transmissions or the clutch pedal depressed on manual transmissions. When the transfer case is in four low, the amber light on the rocker switch will remain illuminated. For more information on the transfer case operation, helpful off-road driving tips and maintenance procedures, see sections two, four, and six of your owner's manual. Cruise control. The cruise control switches are mounted on the end of the multifunction turn signal lever. To engage the cruise control, first turn it on, then accelerate to the desired speed, and push the set button on the end of the turn signal lever. The cruise control disengages when you depress the brake pedal or clutch pedal, or move the control switch to the off position. The off position will erase the memory of the cruise control. To resume your preset speed after braking, Momentarily move the switch to the RA, resume accelerate position, at speeds above 25 miles per hour. The system automatically recalls your preset speed. For more information on cruise control, see section 2 in your owner's manual. AM FM stereo radio with seek scan, digital clock and stereo cassette tape player. Forward and reverse arrows allow you to move through your tape quickly. The DNR, Dynamic Noise Reduction button, reduces background hiss on both the radio and cassette tapes. To switch playing sides of the tape without removing it, press the PROG, Program button, on the cassette player. For information and maintenance tips for your tape player, see Section 3 of your owner's manual. If your sound system includes the graphic equalizer, you will be able to adjust the bass, mid-range, and treble until you get the sound you want. This system also features a CRO2, or chromium dioxide button. It adjusts the audio quality for chromium or metal tapes, and an AMST button for AM stereo broadcasts. Your sound system reproduces a full dynamic range of sound. As you're listening to the following music selections, adjust the volume, fade, balance, bass and treble controls to suit your tastes. The bass control adjusts the lower sounds, like bass drums and tom-toms. I'm pretty sure we remember how to do this before. The treble control affects higher sounds, like snare drums or cymbals. Also, to let you know, the music selections at the end of side 2 are going to be the same. Seriously. As you listen to the remainder of the program, begin with the fade and balance control set in the center position, then adjust until the speaker levels are set to your satisfaction. We wish you many years of driving and listening pleasure in your new blazer. Now we'll wrap up this presentation with music selections designed to let you adjust and get acquainted with your controls. Cameron, I'm making a video right now. Can you please not disturb me? Please. Oh, and viewers watching this, these are the same music selections from the S-Series pickup tape, so, yeah. I'm pretty sure you've heard them before as well, so don't forget that.
I don't know what you're saying. Can you just please not disturb me? What's important? I'll, I'll find it after this after I'm done this video, okay? okay? Promise me. Yeah. If the viewers are watching this, um, Cameron has told me that Chase can't find his 3DS. Um, I will... I will find it, well, you know, or... 8 Chasey can't find his 3DS, so... Yeah. After this video, I promise you that I will find his 3DS, so, yeah. That's it for the first music selection, now we're on to the second one. Yes, I've heard these music selections on some parts of the S-Series pickup tape from the spoken parts as well. These never made it until now, so... It's really cool that they're still there, and that's, that's nice. So yeah, um, maybe one day I will upload the, the music selections from side two onto YouTube, just when I start the recording, so yeah. The next time I play either Blazer or S-Series Pickup. Also, as you know, I'm, I'm going to be getting another Chevy Trucks tape, it's a Tahoe tape, and I, I'll be getting that, so yeah, I'll be very excited when I get it. I also just don't know what's up with the noise on here because I'm not sure if the recording stuff's gonna be fine. I just certainly hope it will be. But yeah, promise me, viewers, because um, the next time when I try to record a blank tape, I'll be able to like see what happens when I try to do it. So yeah, I have recorded some tapes on here before. You know, like Country Souvenirs and Don't Forget. This is country music. I only got volumes one and two so far. I'll do volumes three and four when I get more blank tapes. So, yeah. This is the fourth music selection right here on this Chevy tape. And there's two more music selections left until the ending theme, so, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry if I eventually put the phone right here. Sorry if I had to lay the phone down because I had to take the laundry down while side one was playing. So, yeah. I'm just still hoping I can still record tapes, you know. So, yeah. Here's the last music selection right here.
And here's the ending theme right here. I also can't understand what's it just what's up the noise see that look at that it's doing that when I'm holding my phone like will it will it still record tapes I don't know Ugh. We'll have to find out one time when I eventually test out recording, so... Yeah, if it won't let me record tapes, then uh, I'll just have to give up on that. But anyway, that's about it for this Chevy Blazer tape right here. So, this is enjoyable. I can really enjoy lots of stuff here. Especially a tape like this. I still hope it, it lets me record tapes. If it doesn't let me record tapes, then I'm going to have to give up on doing recordings on tapes. So, I'll have to deal with it. Uh, before I try to test it out, let me, you know, without the tape, let me just try to put the tape back in its case, so I'll be right back. Okay, I put the tape back in its case, and, um, yeah. Like we said, this was sponsored by Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Let's test it out. Okay, no noise. Um, I'll try to do it without the camera, so we'll test that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I tested it out without the recording, and I think it went better like that, so... What I might have to say is that, um... About that... Um, well, um... I think when I put the phone to this, the tape part probably makes noise while it's doing that. Probably because I shouldn't have put it right there while I was recording. So sorry for that. I still hope I still hope I can re I can record tapes. But anyway, that's about it for this video on Chevy tapes. So for you know Chevy Blazer. When I get the Chevy Tahoe tape, I will might as well be able to play that. Anyway, viewers, have a great time. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101. Oh, excuse me, guys. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Peace out.